Alright, I'm so excited. I got a box from uh, Friendly Arm. We've got three nano pies. Woo! Me. Three nano pies and some accessories. So, I'm going to go ahead and open everything. I'll be back. Because I don't have a tripod. I moved off this. I need a get prepared. Okay, so next up is the Nano Pi Neo 4. So this got a pretty decent upgrade compared to the older versions. Let me just slide that over. So these are the older versions. We have a Nano Pi Neo 512 gig, uh, megabyte. Uh, has 10 100 ethernet, single USB, uh, SD card slot and uh, power. Then we have the Neo 2, which is SD card slot, power, single USB, gigabit Ethernet, and there's the gigabit controller. Now, let's go back to this. So, this got a massive upgrade. So, these don't have video out, this has all kinds of stuff. So, first we have USB 3.0, Gigabit Ethernet. Then we have the PCIe X2 connector plus uh, GPIO. We have our video, uh, like, e-displayport uh, connector. We have our Wi-Fi, a USB 3C cable. Uh, which is for power and OTG, I do believe, um, and HDMI. As you can see, I do have a 16 gigabyte uh, Samsung EMMC module attached. And the reason this got a major upgrade is CPU. So this is the 512 gig edition, and there you can see the memory chip and the big ass RK3399 processor and the SD card slot. So, if you noticed, there was a Neo 1, 2, but no 3. And I think if there was, it would have either been the S905 processor or the Samsung uh, 6818 but I think since it was so hot uh, they wouldn't be able to cool it on a board that size so they moved to a larger board with a better processor and a bigger heat sink <laughs> look at that beast it's larger than the old versions by like one and a half but it's the same size height wise which is crazy and that includes the heatsink so it also did come with a Wi-Fi antenna heatsink is separate and highly recommended so let me get that on that so getting the board onto the heatsink is simple. You take the included thermal pad, place it on the CPU. Once you have it on the CPU, you take off the other uh, film pad and then take the heatsink and set down on top of it. Making sure that the uh, elongated side is facing out. And you just set it down. Then using two hands, you flip it over. I had to stop so I could flip it. And you take the included screws and you screw it down. The screwing down part I do in a diagonal fashion. So I do one, this one, this one, that one. You know, never side by side. And now that is attached. And there you can see the thermal pad under there. And that is a beefy little 
computer. Lastly, if you do want to use Wi-Fi, you need to take the included Wi-Fi antenna and connect it to the coax connector, which is fairly simple. You just pop it down on. I failed. Anyways, I don't need Wi-Fi. But, yeah, that's how you do it. So, I'm editing video, and I realized I didn't make a uh, uh, thanks for watching part for, like, five videos. So, this is the part for five videos. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, the other button works. And, uh, I'm going to drink some more coffee because it's like five in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye! Damn it.